It has been stated that a bomber crew had no more than a one in 10 chance of survival, and during some periods of the war, considerably less. It's impossible to imagine what it was like for an operational crew, knowing they were going off deep into enemy territory, with little or no protection against the heavy defenses surrounding their targets. I've just been told that our number is expected to be over 1,100. This group is providing 150. This station, 22 are here, and five crews are playing away. Now, the object of tonight's operation is to blot out the town of Bremen. One of the hazards that used to face uh, faces was you went in a stream, the bombers travelled in a stream, and you would look in the Astrodome, as you get near the target, you'd look up, because you all staggered at different heights, and you'd look up at the aircraft above you, and you'd see his bomb doors open, and you'd see the bombs all there. And then you'd see them start to fall, and they'd come down, you know, sort of each side of you. What frightens you is noise. If at this moment uh, we heard some firing uh, uh, just around the corner, we'd probably dive down on the ground, and it would frighten us. But when you're flying an aeroplane with your headsets on and the noise of the engines, you don't hear uh, the flak from the ground being fired at you. You might feel a crump as you uh, hit a bit of air is disturbed, and you'll see black and white puffs near you. But I didn't find that frightening because you're so detached from it. It's only uh, if you saw a fighter, which you didn't often see at night, but period, then you really knew he was after you and very close to you. When you first got in the aircraft, you were busy, and you went out on the raid, you crossed the water, and um, the flak started to come up. You were scared, but you weren't petrified because you were busy, you were still busy. I think, really, what upset me most was seeing an aircraft that was on fire and going down. It was going down like a falling leaf. I couldn't see anybody get out of it. I felt terribly sick then. Uh, but I think when we got back to base and after the debriefing, I got into bed and, and I remember I felt so cold and lonely. That was when it really hit me. And of course, when you saw your name on the board again for an op that night, you didn't like it. <laughs>